everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I've got a fun little mock to show you guys. This has come from the designer Sawyer, and it is the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. This ancient cartoon show has a pretty big following still of dedicated fans that have followed it throughout the years. Technically, it was a manga in the 60s, it later became a show there, and it featured an insanely fast car, the Mach 5, that had all these crazy superpowers and was piloted by Go Mifune, who was an absolute speed demon and actually his name was paying homage to Toshiro Mifune, the greatest samurai of all time. Seriously, you should watch an Akira Kurosawa movie sometime, they're awesome. But the reason why I'm talking about the Mach 5 today and probably the reason why Sawyer even found inspiration to build it in the first place is because it had a rebirth when it was translated to English and shown in the early 90s. The main character's name was changed to Speed Racer. It was pretty popular among a lot of millennials nowadays. Tons of screen grabs from the animation have become memes, most of which I think are like dead now. And in 2008, Warner Bros. got the bright idea of turning it into a live action film. Please don't watch it, or do. I don't know what, <laughs> what your taste is. Long story short, we got the Mach 5 here, and I think Sawyer did an excellent job translating this into Lego. Real quick, you can get the instructions to build this at our web store, www.brickvault.toys. Included are the PDF step-by-step -step building instructions, as well as an XM parts list file for uploading and ordering the parts instantly online. It's a great way to help support us here at the channel as well as the builders that we work with like Sawyer and okay let's get back into the build. Like all race cars it's a pretty low long and sleek build. That 5 is a custom sticker so if you were to get the instructions you'd also get a PDF uh, sheet for printing onto sticker paper and the same goes for the M in the front. The front of the build has a relatively smooth look. There's a couple of studs showing off there, but I think it looks best from that lower angle where you can see the studs have been inverted, so you can see the kind of rounded over nose. Those couple of yellow inverted slopes make up uh, the front headlights or where they would be, and if you look really close at that sticker M, I'd like you guys to find where I accidentally ripped the sticker in half and put it back together. I think it did a pretty good job, because you can't really tell upon closer inspection. Now looking at the model, just kind of from all the general angles, uh, uh, you might be able to tell that this is based on what the Mach 5 looks like from the cartoon show and it is not the adaptation from the 2008 film, which is kind of interesting because the 2008 Speed Racer sets that came out in conjunction with the movie had builds that were definitely based on what you saw from the film, but the minifigures looked like they had faces that matched the characters from the cartoon. Anyways, this is built at the same scale as the original Mach 5 set, though I think Sawyer really knocked it out a lot better just with detailing and shapes all around. Taking a closer look at the back, he's really smoothed out everything. I like the inclusion of the binocular pieces as double exhaust or quadruple exhaust pipes. And I also like to show the model being moved around. And you can, of course, take a minifigure in and out of either seat. They've got tons of space for fitting a figure inside. And personally, I like fitting the one leg onto two vertical studs as opposed to the two studs in the back of the seat. Anyways, here is is how you would look at the uh, set. It's pretty darn strong, it's pretty darn durable. That one little slope piece in the back is attached by <laughs> one stud, but honestly, I handle this model as roughly as I would handle anything. It is a solid block of bricks, pretty much. Um, I couldn't say that I'm being delicate with it at all, so this is certainly very, very strong for a custom build, even strong for a Lego playset, and of course this thing can roll around no problem. It's actually pretty darn smooth because it's a little bit heavy. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section about this build. Also, I focused a little bit more on the history of Speed Racer in the beginning. Let me know if you guys want me to focus kind of on the history of some of these custom builds more so in future videos. I find that I'm constantly cutting that part of the video down. I let it go a little bit longer this time, so let me know. These are the three builds that have come from Sawyer so far, all available in the web store that is www.brickvault.toys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and we will see you next time at Brick Vault.